We're on a boat or a yacht or a small boat. I don't really know exactly what it is, but 1986, pretty funky carpet. Our clients were from Wyoming, and it was kind of fun talking to them. Uh, hadn't I don't know if these carpets had ever been cleaned before. They turned out pretty good. We made a big impact. Um, but overall, don't do a whole lot of boats, so this was kind of an experience with the logistics of getting the hose. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the show. If you do, go ahead and mash that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And then as you're watching, would love your feedback in the comments below of what you thought about this video. Sunny. Yeah. Say hi. Hey, hey. We're doing a boat. We got one room here. This is probably about oh, three feet by four feet. I don't have my light on me. A couple stairs going up there. A couple more, well, one stair there, and this is like the master suite. Really small area too. And then we've got this carpet up here, and this is a thick carpet. This is like a shag. A couple spots here. A couple spots here. One, two, three stairs there. Then you come up here and you've got another big spot here. Here's the boat. I don't know what this part's called. It's the steering wheel part though. We've got a little stair to do here. Probably a lot of this we're gonna be doing with the upholstery wand or the stair wand. And then you can see the hoses. We've got them gear tied all the way across. I think this is only a 200 foot hose run, maybe 150. But Cole is bringing the preconditioner and the CRB, and we're gonna get to we're gonna get to cleaning on this beautiful boat. Windex. You know, I don't know. We have. I don't think I've ever done one with windex. All I know is don't mix bleach with it. Well, no. <laughs> it must be ammonia, I think. Doesn't that make poisonous gas? Yeah, chloride gas or something. Something that will kill you. Chlorine gas. Chlorine gas, I don't know if that will come out. It doesn't look like it. A little slower on that. Oh, Andre Brown from Brown's Professional Carpet Care. Yeah. He made another comment on the YouTube video of yesterday. Oh, he did about He said, hey, Sonny. About me doing the... Now he just said, hey, Sonny, <laughs> with some uh, heart eyes. So he'll probably watch this one. should say hi, Andre. A little tricky getting down there. Did you get the stairs with the CRB too? Okay. That makes for good video. I should have got that one. Here, get the bottom stair. I get that one on video. You ready? Yep. Oh, you're fancy. You don't even turn it off. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Get like a solvent, maybe sandbag or something for the. Try a couple of spotters on this Windex. Yep. And then get the grooming rake while you're And some booties for
even though we had the stair wand and the upholstery tool prepared and ready to use, we actually weren't uh, forced to use any of those because of this wand. It's a much thinner one and a half inch diameter swivel wand, also a devastator. And it was able to get in every little nook and cranny and do a great job on the stairs. So again, we were able to do the entire job with just this one wand. Ended up being $295 and we were here for about, uh, about a one hour, maybe a little bit more. Had a really good time, beautiful day. The sand gnats or no seams were kind of bad, but other than that, this was a great job. We really enjoyed it and hope to do another boat soon. Though. We don't do a lot of boats, so I don't know what they say, but yeah, this is cool. Yeah. I do want you guys to put these in your pockets, because my pockets aren't big enough. Sonny, give us a thumbs up. Can you hit that blue? Yeah, go ahead. They were talking about how dirty the tile was yesterday, and someone was like, don't we have people that clean that stuff here? <laughs> what, at the clubhouse? Yeah. Here. Right now. Right now. There. Does that help it? No. Okay. And, uh, it's funny, because Doyle was like, that boy don't do nothing. All he does is holds the camera and videotapes him. And that's what I'm doing right now. The majority of the light coming in that door out of here. Here we go. My light is going to be a huge difference in quality. It's like you're using a magic eraser on here. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I watched the first episode. Dude, it gets so much worse. It was so weird, man. It's like a train wreck. You can't stop watching them. <laughs> You'll be amazed at how bad it gets. Really? Oh, man. Yeah, we watched the first episode the other night. <laughs> Hopefully that gets blurted out of this video. 
<laughs> Pretty much everything you've said is going to have to get taken <laughs> Crazy, huh? <laughs> I had a BMW that got uh, 10 miles to the down. I thought that was bad. At least I didn't have twin diesel. 220 horsepower twin diesel. That's the same. I wonder how many, where they keep all the extra gas at on here. Well, it's diesel, not gas, but they have a huge tank. 500 yeah. But you can only go 500 miles, yeah. right? Can you fill it? Okay. I'm sure they're not toting around five gallon containers of diesel. <laughs> Left out a zero. It's not it. <laughs> I've really been getting on Brian's nerves lately. Cause I've been when he's like, yeah, Mr. Brian, yeah. <laughs> I figure it's just karma for all the times that I make fun of Terry for being a couple years older than me. Yeah. Actually, I think he's about 15 years older than me. Okay. Here it looks like there's a spot right there. Might just be a shadow though. Maybe it's gotta be so I don't see it. Yeah. Considering? Yeah. Of course, back in the 80s, that's all they made. Nowadays, it's like just crap. Oh, yeah. Quality-wise. And people that were around back in the day and they bought decent carpet like this and had it last 20 or 30 years, you know, we'll clean for it now and they'll have bought new carpet five, six, ten years ago and it's shot within, oh, yeah. you know, within five or six years, maybe ten years. And they're like, well, I don't get it. It's like totally different quality now. It's oh, yeah. night and day. Oh, 
Very little. I mean, and there are some of our clients that have wool, 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 but it's very um, a lot more expensive, of course. Um, but you know, nylon was a really, really good fiber and still is. But they cut, they started using it. Well, it's a lot more polyester, which is not that great for carpet. It's great for a lot of other things, but for carpet, it gets crushed really easily. And then you can't, it's not very um, resilient in terms of cleaning it back. With nylon, it kind of fluffs back to life, you know, relatively easy, but with polyester, it's crushed. And then they stopped using as much latex adhesive between the primary and secondary backing of the fiber. They use a much cheaper alternative that's just as good, and really it's not even close. But it saves them a lot of money, you know, and it's all about cheap production. That's how you videotape doing the bow, huh? Oh, yeah. You're off in a business niche, huh? Well, I don't know about that, but my son wanted to come. He's only six, but I told him oh. I'd give a video of us coming up. He was pretty excited about that. So. I'll bring him over. We'll give the grand Oh, he'd love that. <laughs> all right. We'll talk your ear off, but... <laughs> I've been a teacher for 30 years. Oh, you know then, yeah. He hasn't seen his teacher in a couple weeks now. He's driving him crazy, so. Uh, I talk college. But... He's not quite there yet. I don't know if he'll make it, honestly. <laughs> they were like big babies. Oh, I bet. Big drunk babies. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Only wine more than little kids. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go this way. That, that angle's off. This is perfect. Okay. I want it a little tight because I don't want to go on either side of this without pulling it out. Yeah, it looks two shades lighter. Yeah. Should have left those trays on the CRB. It's getting all kinds of stuff. Little dust bunnies. Yeah. Well, it's like a shag almost, you know what I mean? It's real yeah. thick. That first one we did, the the polyester was so crushed yeah. that it was the wand was bouncing. Oh yeah, I've done quite a few of those. Like yeah. That. Sorry, that. Shut it off. That's it for the boat cleaning. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. If you didn't yet have a chance to mash the thumbs up, would love it if you could do that now for me. If you made it all the way to the end, leave a comment in the comments below that says made it to the end. And if you haven't done so yet, uh, we would love it if you could subscribe to our channel so you get notified every time we publish new content like this. Have a great day.